Hello, my dears. Very nice to see you, or for you to see me. <laughs> anyway, this is my round robin vlog. Uh, Saturday, the 5th of December, 2020. I say round robin because normally at this time of year, I would send round a, um, a letter of greetings and festive cheer to everyone. Uh, I used to do it by post. I did it by post and email, but I've decided this year to give... Uh, money to charity uh, rather than uh, spend it on postage and cards. I hope that doesn't upset too many people. Uh, but I thought I would do this as a festive greetings vlog. Uh, and I was reminded uh, earlier last week by uh, Linda Badger. She's age seven. And uh, she was just talking about all sorts of things and uh, sort of saying, of course, how 2020 has been bad. Uh, but she did say to me uh, that early on in March, when we first started getting rules and suggestions of how we behave with COVID, uh, nothing has really changed other than uh, new rules and regulations coming along, which actually turn out just to be a variation of the original. And she gave me an experiment to do. She said, get an air freshener. So I've got an air freshener and spray it in the air. So I hope you can see that. I'm spraying it in the air. She was explaining that the COVID um, virus uh, travels in the air in bubbles of droplets. So uh, when it just travels around and it can land anywhere and people could just breathe it in. But if you've got your mask, say my hand is my mask, <laughs> and it sprays and sprays, it'll spray onto my hand and hopefully not into my mouth and nose. And uh, she said that's quite a simple introduction. She doesn't understand why people don't understand how it all works. Well, I have to say, Linda, I quite agree with you. And I say to the rest of you, if a seven-year-old can explain it in such a fashion and an easy way, uh, I don't understand why others uh, have difficulty with just following following the rules and being Christmas. <laughs> Wee! And the, uh, so that's my dear reindeer and my Christmas tree. And I'm afraid that's all the... Uh, all the Christmas decorations that are going to appear in my office. Um, and uh, I was thinking I should look back, really, and think of what positive things are coming out of our 2020 year. Well, the most positive thing recently, of course, is the uh, vaccine is now um, available. There's one already been given the tick and should be hopefully distributed within the next week or so and there are three or four others close on the heels so hopefully people will be able to get vaccinated for those who don't want to get vaccinated that's up to you uh, but um, please don't infect others <laughs> and so I was thinking what have I learned during lockdown in 2020 well uh, as I have previously said in other vlogs uh, I've done a lot of writing and caught up there but um, also uh, I've been catching up on uh, old favourite shows uh, and as well as quite educational ones. The Blue Planet series with David Attenborough is still brilliant, absolutely fantastic and really does highlight the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pearl that we travel around in uh, and we should look after it. Very much. Very interesting uh, listening to history channels. There's a lot about the Romans at the moment. Uh, but also I did see a documentary about the Great Plague of 1665. In the UK we had this plague which actually turns out to be very much like Covid is now. It was killing off thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And it turned out that the, uh, the way the authorities dealt with it, it was... Um, they just told people to uh, either huddle themselves in one sort of habitat and just stay there and hopefully you don't die, or just keep your distances. A lot of people left London and other cities, for example, uh, but just don't travel. And I just thought that's so similar to what's been asked of us today. Um, 
the other thing uh, we got to think about really is the scientists they're so so clever and they've worked really really hard and they need all the plaudits which hopefully will be coming their way um we shouldn't really um uh, pick them out as the sole beings of uh, the covid crisis that are doing great the resilience of people is fantastic and and most of us are just just trying to get on with our lives which uh, has to be applauded too um a little concerned that uh, uh people in government are sort of going around saying uh, you know sort of cheerleading and boasting and saying we are the best we are the best uh, I'm not sure. I think it's a bit crass. But I think it's also a statement that doesn't need to be said. Uh, worldwide, uh, uh, Britain is known for having uh, extraordinary engineers, extraordinary architects, fantastic uh, p- performers. The film industry in particular is first class. A lot of foreign uh, productions are made uh, in English studios because of the um, high skill. And it's, it's, it's said for granted we don't need to boast it because people just know it. They just know that we have high standards. And that's why um, people should be given the chance to show what skills they have. All too often, for political reasons, uh, sectors are closed down with <laughs> with no real thinking what's going to be left um what else is there nothing more i think i'll just witter on otherwise and uh, i just wish to thank everybody uh, that have been uh, sending me good wishes i wish to thank my entire family i want to give a little nod to matthew campbell who is uh, leaving our shores uh, uh, for christmas Not sure when he's coming back, but he's off on another adventure. Thank you for all the help you've uh, given me and others in recent years, and good luck with whatever you're doing. And I say good luck to everybody else as well. Let's hope that 2021 is more positive and we can get going and feel as if we're uh, living the life of Riley. Uh, I'm reminded this week that the great English actor Leslie Phillips is still with us. He's 96. So uh, in the festive way, I'll just use one of his famous quotes and say to everybody, this festive season just ding dong.